So I'm back doing another Photoshop tutorial already. This one's on how to change your eyes. The reason this one's come so soon as after the other one is because they're really quick and easy to make, to be fair. And people did ask for more type of stuff. Um, so probably I'm going to make a playlist. They probably won't be coming out as much as this, for I've got a lot of work to do. So crack on. There is two methods. One method is the quickest, easiest. Basically just paint the eye type thing. Hang and overlaying. The second one is what everyone else recommends you do. It's not the one that I usually do, to be fair. I suppose it can look better, but it depends what effect you're going for. So check out both and let me know what you think. Once you've opened the picture, zoom close to the eye. Create a blank layer and get the paintbrush tool with your choice of colour selected. Resize the brush so it's the same size as the eye and make a 100% opacity dot. Next, go over to your Layers tab and set the layer to Overlay. Using the Eraser tool, remove any colour that's overlaying the eye. Apply the paint dot onto the other eye and then erase the overhang again. If when you zoom out this colour looks a bit too over top and a bit too Instagram-fied, you can simply set the eraser tool to a lower opacity with a bigger size so it's over bigger than the eye and then single click to slowly tone it back a bit. Open the image to a level of zoom so you can see both eyes but they're as big as you can get them both. Use the magnetic lasso tool to select the first eye. If you struggle to get it to stick in the right places because it can be a bit awkward, use the normal lasso tool. But don't worry if your selection's perfect, we are going to change it if need be. Do the same to the second eye, but make sure you're pressing the shift key. If you don't press the shift key, it will erase your first selection. With both eyes selected, head over to the adjustments and add a hue saturation adjustment. This will automatically create a selection mask. Now you can play with the three dials to change the colour and brightness. If you didn't manage to get the selection of the eyes perfect, you can do what we did in the previous video for the hair. Go over to get the black or white paintbrush. The black will erase colour, the white will add colour. So there you go, that's both ways of doing it. Two ways, two minutes. Beautiful. Let me know what you think which one looks better. The, the reason I don't prefer the second one is it's far too much. Tom Faffery with the, the, the lasso and stuff. It, it's hard to get right. And then you end up just painting it anyway. So in my eyes, you may as well just paint it to start with. Or at least put a mask on and then paint the mask out, if you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, I, I hope they helped. If there's any tutorials you want to see, like how to, don't know, remove tattoos, add tattoos. If there's any tutorials you want to see, just bang them in the comments and we'll have a look at what we can do. Um, that's it guys. Peace.